And today we kick off 31 days of inspiration for the month of August. Day one, I'm going to tell you what has inspired transformation in my life. I, being raised in a family where my father was a pastor, every Sunday, every Wednesday, we were always attending service. Uh, in my teens, I remember doing a lot of youth groups and different events that would sharpen uh, my life. And then I remember in my 20s, after college, I just wound up just becoming just in this box. But I wound up just playing with the world and doing things that I knew I shouldn't do. I was raised right. My parents did their job. It was time for me to step up and become a man and make a true decision in the sense of my walk with Christ. So I remember um, about 27 years old, about eight years ago, um, I asked my father, it was a New Year service, and I asked him if I can fellowship with my brother um, Nehemiah Tidwell at his father's church for New Year's. And my father let me go, and I went there, and um, just like uh, normal services, we're praising God, we're praying, uh, we're fellowshipping with other saints, and uh, it came offering time, and I remember I went up there and I took up my offering, went back to my seat, and just like normal, just like I do in every service, I just was going into motions. I wasn't getting out of that comfort zone. And I remember First Lady Tidwell went up to that altar, and as loving and caring as she was, she called me out and she says, Brother Joel, I need you to come back up to this altar. I need you to give your all, but I want you to bring somebody with you. And I remember grabbing Brother Joseph and we went up to that altar and I gave God my all. I released and I knew for a fact that I wasn't worried about who was looking at me. I wasn't worried about any distractions. I wanted everything to be released. And from that day, from that point on, I knew my commitment with God was going to be totally, totally different. And I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone. Don't worry about the distractions. Don't worry about what people are going to think. Do not worry about anything but to know that God loves you. Have a blessed day.